So today I'm gonna talk about how to enjoy your own company and doing things alone. As much as I love hanging out with my friends and spending time with people I love, I also enjoy my own company. It's not that I don't like being around people 24 7, but spending time alone makes me energized in a lot of ways. So, my MBTI is INFJ and I am a Gemini. And if you know what that means, I am a super extrovert person. And at the same time, I am also an introvert person. I had so many friends back in Japan, but since I moved abroad and living alone, it's difficult to make friends, especially in our 20s. So naturally, I spend much time alone, which is fine. So I thought it would be nice to record what I do to enjoy my own company and tips not to feel lonely. Doing things alone was really something I never cared about. Like, I have always been comfortable being on my own because I know at the end of the day, you are the only one you've got. ちょっと欲しいからちょっと古着屋さんに行ってなんかジーンズとかも欲しいし、なんかちょっと服見ようかなっていう感じです。今日は太陽が出てて寒くなかったらまあ本読んで公園でチルでもしようかなって思う。Reminds me of my last spring. Like, Haz is an artist who I like to listen to. Like, always in the summer, or in the warm season, I listen to artists. So, like, always I get a little nostalgic. Anyway.
Cleaning your place is to have a clean mind. I believe this quote is so true, so when your room is messy, your life will be messy too. I guess it's like reflecting your brain into reality, if that makes sense. I also even read some article that says it also affects your brain when your space is not clean. With that being said, I like to keep my space clean always and be comfortable where I spend the majority of my time. space as much as personal and comfortable is also another key to be able to enjoy your own company. So example, I like putting postcards on the wall and they are all personal and such a good memory to me because these postcards are not just postcards for me. I got them in Japan and in Amsterdam with either of my friends or family and I had them putting on the wall in my apartment in Tokyo so they are familiar to me and feels a bit safe like they've been through a lot with me from Japan to the Netherlands I mean I'm exaggerating a bit but I hope you get what I mean and another tip to be able to comfortable being on my own is to have low expectations I have learned this over the past few years and if you have low expectations from someone, you will be less disappointed and not get hurt that much. I was the type of person who tended to create the ideal version of someone whether that is my crush or the guy that I'm dating or whatsoever and they are always not the person I thought they were and it's not their fault, it was my problem. And because of that, I wasn't happy because I was the one who was depending on someone. But the truth is, you are the only one who can make yourself more happy, proud, and glow. Of course, there are times when your friends or boyfriends can make your days better and happier, but it's not always be the case, at least for me. So becoming mentally independent and not depending on someone too much is crucial part for me. And remember that everyone has their own separate lives and values, so try not to control them. Lastly, be present and enjoy the moment. I know this sounds so cliche, but as I've been living alone, there are so many times that I caught up inside my head and overthinking about my past or about my uncertain future, and I just question everything. But I just realized that it's not gonna lead me anywhere. So I try to focus on what I have and be grateful instead of wanting more or regretting and winding around. And if I ever have time to look back on my past, I only look back on the good memories and focus on the good things. I met new people here, I made friends here, I went to Copenhagen with my friends and moved to another city and I am kind of proud of myself. But don't get me wrong, of course there are times that I feel so lost, sad, and a little bit lonely. But I always remind myself that I have the places that I can always go back to, where my family and my lovely friends are living, and I miss them so much. But I mean, I am still here less than a year, and feel like this is my time to meet more new people and explore more, or fighting myself as the life goes on. And I never know what's gonna happen and I want to cherish every moment of my life here. And yeah, I hope this was somewhat helpful in one way or another. And if it was and you enjoyed it, I just want to say thank you for watching and hope you have a wonderful day.